Hey guys, Sam here. We just finished our first live at Cleveland's for the night. We had a variety of string instruments tonight. Because it's such a small room, we kind of want to isolate stuff as much as possible so it's easier to mix and therefore you get a better idea of how the mics sound on the instruments. So NT6 on guitar, ND6 on mandolin, that gives us a nice tight refined sound with the cardioid pattern. And we use an NT3 on the banjo which I seem to find works quite well, has quite a nice mid-range to it and it kind of opens up a bit more than the smaller mics. We had an NT5 on violin, which is always my go-to for violin. Once again, just refining that sound from all the other sound sources around it. We've got an NT2 down here, which we use on upright bass, which being the only large diaphragm condenser in the room, kind of captures more of the wide range of frequencies that the upright bass gives off. It's got a lot of low end, but it's also got a bit of high end from the plucking, so it captures that nicely. Usually go for a K2 for vocals here, but Due to the large number of musicians, we decided to use an S1 so we can really hone in on that lead singer's voice and have it project through the mix really nicely. And just to finish it off, we had an M2 on the backing vocalist, which, you know, does its job and captures them well.